Hi guys, Candia here with the H Journal. I'm back to share with you another custom journal for Candy, um, a longtime subscriber and customer of mine. And I'm excited to have made this one for her. She um, wanted blues and pinks and grays. So that's what we did. She picked out this book. And when you get a custom journal for, from me, you get to choose what either a book cover or um, making a custom cover out of recycled materials that I do for you. Um, this one has a crocheted cover to hold it closed and it just unties and comes off when you're using it and I think it gives it this beautiful vintage feel to the cover and then I added this um, book plate that has the a dictionary a vintage dictionary um, cut out that is the definition of the word journal. I'm not sure if you guys can see that or not, but it defines journal, and I thought that was went really well on the cover. Let's dig inside. So I just kept with the theme of blues and pinks and grays and just kind of went to town in here with those colors. And now I did a little doily tuck here and tucked in some random stuff. Um, this comes from a swap that I did on Junk Journal junkie, Junkies. And the lady that um, I swapped with was Marilyn and she gave me some beautiful stuff that I shared a little bit of stuff throughout the book here with candy that I got from Marilyn. This is Tim Holtz paper as well as this one. This is just a beautiful piece of um, vintage paper that I did cut out as well as this. So these two pieces came from the same page and it's these vintage um, sheets of paper that decoupage paper that I have. I did some stickers, some um, encouraging encouragement stickers throughout. This one says you are enough. So all the sig all four signatures have the same um, pieces of paper. It has this paper, some graph paper, some coffee dyed paper, another little tuck here, some more graph paper, and some of this cotton pa paper, and this gray um, ledger, or not ledger paper, um, letterhead paper. And on this sticker it says, be your beautiful self. And then here is a beautiful book page that I added in the center as a pocket and I added the cutoff pieces from the pattern paper. Did a little tip up as Nazi has taught us to do here on YouTube. A little collage there. This cotton paper is a letterhead paper. A little pink sticker here just for a little added interest. So I decorated the book up a little bit. Some premium marketing pages that I added to it so she can use, cut them up and use, make sh flowers with them or shapes with them. Um, she can just keep them as they are and use them throughout the book as tags. It's up to her what she wants to do with them. Second signature, I added a pocket on the outside and put some tags in there. Um, I did do, like I said, I was starting to say, I did do a little bit of decorating, but not much because she likes to decorate it up some herself. So I have a little baggie of ephemera that she can use to decorate it more with. So this one that says, you are wonderful. Another doily tuck and this one these two are from Maryland from my the junk journal swap is so, so is this so this was a full doily that I cut out of a piece of paper 
This is a pretty flip. And this is an embossed image, stamped image that I thought would be fun for writing underneath. And you can still see the writing. This one says, Love Yourself. This pretty bird that I had. It was a die cut that I it was blue and I thought it would just fit with the theme real well. It's more of that um, Mod Podge paper I have, decoupage paper. Another pretty sticker that had blues and pinks with it. This is a little, one of two little book it, booklets that I added to the journal for extra writing space. And this one has pink rose paper in it. Added lace throughout the book. This one, I just love the image, so I didn't add any pocket to cover it up. You are everything. Another decoupage or piece of paper and lace um, layered effect there. Another flip up. Here's the other pocket and this one just has roses on it and it has the goodie bag plus some of the cutoffs in it. And I'm not going to show what's in the goodie bag, so it is a surprise for candy. This one says, Believe in Yourself. Some more of the same papers. Another pretty sticker that has blue and pink in it. And I kind of ended up with kind of a botanical theme. Um, I So I hope candy likes that. Here's a pretty embossed page that was pink that I thought would look pretty, looked pretty in here. Just have it clipped in so if she wants to use it somewhere else she in the book or if she doesn't want it in the book at all, she can take it out. Um, and it was pink so I thought, let's use it. The last signature here, I have some little writing papers for copy dyed papers for writing on. In the front pocket. More of the same papers. And then this one says, you are capable of becoming more than you realize. Little tuck spot here. And this is a beautiful paper clip that Marilyn made for me in the junk journal swap. And it's just ni a nice large paper clip. And on the back side, I have two things tucked here onto it. This pretty Tim Holtz paper and this little envelope that has a little telegram tucked into it she can write on so over that pretty paper a sticker that has pinks and blues and grays in it this sticker says look on the bright side and most everything I inked up with gray ink, so that way it would go with the theme. This one is the other booklet I made. And it was made with this paper that I have from a book that I got. So lots of fun different papers in here. And that's the end of that signature. And... Well, um, here on the last page, just have another little tuck. So that's the end of this book. So I hope Candy enjoys it and has fun with it, using it as her journal every day. She said she was going to take it with her everywhere, so hopefully it's not too big and bulky for her. And um, like I said again, if you want a custom journal made, just contact me on my Etsy sh shop, The Age Journal, and we can make whatever it is you want. So, hope you guys have a great day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up um, and let me know what you thought of it in the comment section below. So, talk with you guys later. Bye.